and welcome to a life full of meaning. My name's Lisa and this is Glenn. And together we still make a weekly vlog. Where we document our search for a more meaningful life. So, without further ado, let's show you how the week unfolded. I nearly said that then. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Saturday. We are going through seven locks today. We've been through these locks many times. You've been through these locks with us before. Yeah, we've done this flight many, many times. But... That doesn't stop us making a bit of a day of it. No, Beth, John, Leo, maybe Lexi are joining us in a bit. I'll put some sausages in the oven. Got to start the day with a sausage sandwich. And then we'll be heading up those seven locks. Beth has just messaged me, say she's on her way. I'm going to take the water, fill this up at the tap. I feel there might may be much tea and coffee drunk today. Anyway, come on, let's go. Just walking up, see if I can see Beffy coming. Hello, my darling, how are you? <laughs> so we're waiting for our friends Ara. We're all ready. We've had bacon sandwiches and sausage sandwiches and cups of tea. But there's a geocache around here. Leo has got the phone. We're looking for the geocache. Right, 97 meters away. Come on, let's go. It's up by the lock, I think. Let's have a look at the geocache. Zero oh no, zero meters. So it's got to be around here somewhere. What? So everyone's gone to check out the geocache. I'm standing guard of the boat that's just there. I didn't think I needed to stand guard, but Glenn was like, the engine's running, the doors are open, Lisa. Stay with the boat. I was like, okay. They're all having a look. <laughs> here comes Lexi. She's going to give me an update on the geocache. Darling, have they found it? Have they found it? No, no. You don't think so? Oh, have a rest now. You ready for this, John? Ready. We ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. Leo's still looking for the geocache. Hiya, Tiny. You alright? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. We can do this. Ground oh, paddles open. It's letting the water in, isn't it, Lexi? Yeah. And Pappy's there, Ty. Can you see how Pappy's come up? Yeah. He was right down the bottom, and now he's right up the top. You can do it, my darling. Come on. Well done. That's one lock done. On to the next one. It's our friends Charlie and Carolyn coming down the locks. Fancy seeing you again. <laughs> Oh no! This is a real teamwork lot, oh, this one. Oh, Have a good trip. Oh. See you later. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I needed a rest. You needed a rest? Yeah. So I've joined us. We've opened the ground paddles. Going to open the gate paddles in a minute. Lex is doing it on her own. Oh my goodness. Well, what a team. What a team we have here. Here comes Pappy, Zara and Beffy gone inside to make some tea. <laughs> Lexi, look at you go. Whenever we move the boat, I'm going to need this lock crew, aren't I? So the motorway is blocked, so there's lots of cars coming slowly past this way. Leo is waving to the lorry drivers and they're tooting their horn at him. Oh, Leo's having so much fun. Motivation from the boat is just said, when we get to the top, he'll buy us ice creams. Yeah, thank you very much, Glenn. In comes Mr. Warner. Lexi, you've been super helpful. Yes. You are, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Pappy and Bethy coming up. Leo and John over there relaxing. Are you relaxing, Lexi? Lexi's got this. Well done, darling. That's it. Right at the top lock, there's nothing coming, so we're just emptying it. We're coming up with another boat as well. Hey, it's been smooth. This is drama. Our stop button's not working. Glenn's just had to do something to make the engine stop. Oh, I just want to say hello to Judith that we've just bumped into back there. She stopped and said hello. Right, Glenn's rewarding all the helpers with an ice cream. There's one. And what would you like? Glenn's taking the car to Bugbrook because that's where we're moving to tomorrow. And then Zara's going to drop us back at the boat. So it's all going to work out perfect. 
So we're following Glen. It's taken us through villages. We're gonna go over the canal. We'll be doing this tomorrow. So we've ended up back at the pub. We're gonna get a drink and some lunch. Blue cheese on chips. It's a taste sensation. Good morning and welcome to Sunday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are at Stoke Pruitt, at the top of the locks. We're going through the tunnel today. What I love about Stoke Bruin is it's a real busy place. There's always boats coming and going, people. I love it, I really do. Boat just going past as I speak. We've decided to start the day the right way. Oh yes, with a lovely big breakfast from the boat in. Glenn's already gone. I was faffing about. I was doing a bit of crochet. I was like, Glenn, you go. You go and order and I'll come on down. So Glenn's already there. He's ordered. So let's go join him. Start the day with a delicious breakfast. That'll see us all the way through to dinner time this evening. And the sun has come out. I know I've said it before. It makes such a difference when the sun is out. It's all go this morning. Charlie, the trip boat, is ready for lots of people. There's a boat in the lock. There's a boat filling up at the water point. The Indian chief also does boat trips from here. Let's find Glen. There's a canal side property available there for sale. We've got no locks to do today. Just one big long tunnel. Determined to learn how to start the boat. Key in. Key in. Needs, yeah. Needs to go up. I mean, that's the stern greaser. Before you start and finish, you just turn it till you get resistance. Okay. You turn that key on. Yeah. Check I the checked oil. it yesterday. And then the water. Don't when you go. say check the water, what are you checking? You just check to make sure it's not dropped. It's not empty. Okay. Okay. It's not. It needs to be about half full. Okay. Okay. And that's it. There should be nothing else to do on that. And okay. Then, so you hold it. Yeah. And if you pull this out. Yeah. And then put it forward, it, that's engaging the throttle without putting it in gear. Okay. So now that'll be ready to start now. You just go around like you would start a car. Push it. Push it. That's it. And then when it starts, give it a second. Okay. Like that okay. We were just saying. It feels like ages since we've been through the tunnel. Ages. Anyway, we're on time, we're about to go. Let's hope it's fairly dry through that tunnel. We know how wet it can be. Got the spare torch ready. And we're off. So here we go, into the tunnel. Wonder how many boats we're gonna meet on our way. I was remembering last summer when we came through that it was really hot out here and gloriously cool in the tunnel. In we go. Turning the lights on in the cabin. Making sure the gas is turned off. Just see the tiniest, tiniest light at the end of the tunnel. I see the first ventilation shaft coming up and it looks a bit drippy. So far, no sign of any boats coming towards us. We can't see any lights heading this way. We're just passing the 800 meter mark. Sorry, Glenn. <laughs> I just shone that torch in Glen's eye. You can see all the mineral deposits. The walls are glistening. There's another shaft coming up and this sounds like a wet one. Trying to keep the camera as dry as possible. Ready? Yeah. About now. Ooh! <laughs> that went right down my back. We're in the new bit of the tunnel now, built in the 1980s. We're not quite halfway yet. So as you can see, we've got the tunnel to ourselves. So we're sitting nicely in the middle of the tunnel. Here we are, halfway point. Look at these. 
red. We're coming up to, I think, the third and final ventilation shaft and I can hear the water rushing in. Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I'm so glad we can miss that. <laughs> 1,100 meters to go. I lied about that being the final ventilation shaft. I can hear more water rushing in. So there must be one ahead here. Let's have a look. Oh, maybe it's just the side. I think it's just that side there. We're just leaving the new part of the tunnel and going back into the old section of the tunnel. thinking there's another ventilation shaft coming up oh and it's right and that is a little bit drippy oh my goodness oh. <laughs> I've got a face full. can you see the steam rising off the roof that's where it's been sitting in the sun this morning oh I can hear more drips. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. That is. Can we avoid that? Ooh. Ah! Oh my goodness. Super drippy. Super drippy in here today. The boat roof is steaming. We have almost made it through. There's a boat approaching the tunnel entrance. So we will be passing a boat in the tunnel so Glen will begin to start getting over we will almost be touching this wall and another ventilation shaft that's very drippy we are going to get wet I'm going to try and lean over as much as possible look at that water coming through whoa Mr Warner's having a shower lucky he's got his hat on there we go, past that boat, no dramas. And back into the middle. We go for the last little bit. The sunshine welcomes us as we emerge from the cold, dark tunnel. Oh, it's always so lovely to see the sunshine. Well, that was an uneventful cruise just the way we like it. And here we are, past Blissworth Tunnel Hut. We can turn these off now. Look how wet we all got. sign says welcome to Blissworth as we go under here there's a lot of boats here a lot of moored boats one two three four five abreast ahead and one moored on this side yeah so a little bit of a chicane Blissworth tunnel boats Boats bought for cash. Look at that little carriage there. Looks like a bar and that's a Thai food place. Gorgeous cottage over there. So we're just coming into uh, Blissworth on top of the Northampton Arm. It's, uh, I think that's the A45. A45? Yeah, going over the top. A43 actually. Oh. <laughs> there's there's a heron in stealth mode hiding in the bushes there. Very still. Yeah, 
it like a statue. <laughs> Been doing a bit of driving. Captain Lisa on the tiller. It's been on for a while now. I'm doing quite well today. Yeah. I've, I've managed to adjust speed, slow yeah. down, speed up. Go past I've, a bit of a tight one with two boats. Yeah, I did that. I don't, I don't think I'm doing alright. She's on it. Looks like they're finally doing something with this building. This makes such a good mooring. Made Mr. Warner a cup of tea. It's thirsty work this boat in. Mr. Warner's requested biscuits. I'm doing a bit of reading whilst Glenn is cruising. last week when we was looking for a parking spot in Paynton and that van pulled out just as we came down and gave us a spot the same thing has just happened in a row of boats so we've come down here we're opposite the wharf pub opposite it's a great mooring spot along here and it was just boat 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 and there was no room for us and then I said Ben that boat in the middle they're untying and we literally they came out we went in I mean it was perfect timing so I haven't filmed much this afternoon I've been sitting in the pub with my friend Vanessa having a big catch-up we haven't had a catch-up for ages ages and ages so that was very good anyway heading back to the boat now well, earlier on we hadn't quite finished charging the jackery so i thought i'm going to try the solar panels it was a nice day and we were sitting in the pub just over there so i propped popped them both on the roof and plugged them in and it's up to 100 percent. it's actually stopped charging so there's no point in keeping them charged in being finished by solar solar which is excellent glenn's just staying in the door you know the book I've been listening to, the Seven Sisters series. Par Salt, the last book was half finished when the author sadly died. Well, her son has finished the book and it's been released. It was released on Thursday and I've just brought it as a credit on Audible. I'm very very excited to listen but before i listen i need to finish the actual book that i'm reading so i was going to do some crochet but i think i'm going to read my book soon i finish this book which i'm loving and i'm mm, almost halfway through the sooner that i can move on to parcel and i'm desperate to listen to that good morning to you and welcome to this monday morning so i am off to work this morning it is a 45 minute drive which is a little bit extreme for a monday morning we're not actually that far away it's just that there's a lot of traffic so it took us three days in a boat it did take us three days in a boat so maybe 45 minutes isn't too bad i'm heading to work glenn has then got ahead to the office he's got some deliveries to do this is the only day I'm in the office this week. The other couple of days I'm working from the boat. I'm, I'm really looking forward to going to work today. I know, how lucky am I that I've got a job that I love going to on a Monday morning. This is why the nine to five life doesn't suit us. Yeah. <laughs> we should have just sat on the boat. Oh, welcome to Toaster. Traffic's always bad in Toaster. It's, it's just one of those pinch points. It used to be the it used to be the road before the M1 was built. Yeah. It's still quite a busy road. We're just going past Toaster Police Station. Used to work there. Yeah, Mr. Warner was there for a while. About 18 months. Yeah, doing a bit of a rural stint. 
I do like Toaster. I know it's busy throughout, but it's just such a lovely small town. So we have now passed through Toaster. We're now in a big long queue up to the roundabout. Sneaky Costa. Just needed a drink. <laughs> I've been awake for a few hours and not had anything to drink. So anyway, let's crack on to the office. I'm at the office. I've just done a few dispatches. I'm trying to find Mrs. Warner's stuff that she needs me to dispatch. Anyway, a box has turned up. And this is going to be a little bit exciting. Mrs. Warner's going to be sad she missed this. So we, I made a decision the other day to get some more some different merch. We actually do all our merchandise ourselves. I source it all, uh, order it all, and, all, and it's me that dispatches all of it. I decided to get to expand that a little bit and make something a little bit because Mrs. Warner so likes making notes and likes a uh, written thing. So we've gone for. Um, these these books, they're little A6 nut pocket notebooks, also lined paper all the way through. They've got Mrs. Warner's slogan on the front, so that says "Be kind, a life full of meaning." I think they look really good. We're going to be selling these at Crick. These will go in the shop. We've got a limited stock of them. We may reorder them, see how they go. This is one of Mrs. Warner's favourite colours, so that's why I went for this one. We've got these now. We've got some pens. We're going to be selling clothing there as well. We're having some a few more printed off, and obviously all Mrs. Warner's plants and pots. So, Crick in the craft tent. So, just picked up my my other order. This is for my um, my friend. It's a company that do glamping for a, a lot of motorsports. So they're actually off to the TT and I've done these mugs for him and we've printed them both sides with their logo and we've supplied um, a couple of hundred of them for him to take with him. So everything's arrived. I've, got, I've, done him, I've done mugs for him. I've got some clothing for him, some wristbands for people that are staying with them and um, some golf umbrellas. So it's all arrived now. Pressure's off of me. I've delivered on time. These were a bit late, that was all. They were meant to come Friday, but they've come today. Happy days, he's happy, he likes them, I like them, great. Anyway, next journey is, an, is a sneaky go and have a look at a motorbike. Mrs. Warren doesn't really want me to buy one, but there's one come up, it's in Northampton, and I'm gonna go and have a little sneak peek at it and see what it's like. I won't buy it today. I mean, to be fair, it's a little bit more than I want to spend. So I'm, if it is any good, I will be offering the man on it anyway. But let's go and have a look. So I've just arrived at Wilt Marina because they're fairly local to us and I know they do. They use boat movers quite a bit. So I've just turned up. I'm going to go in and see the people in the office. Some cards off. See where this takes me. So I've been to Wilt Mill. Dropped off some cards, had a quick chat with a bloke. He's got me cards and you know I know a few people are registered with him, so we'll just keep keep in touch. Just nip back to the boat, just gonna drop some bits off. It's quite early, so I'm just gonna chill for a bit. So I've just been back to the boat for an hour, put the jackery on charge, put something in the fridge. Gonna shoot down to Milton Keynes now. Got to pick Mrs. Warner up. I'm gonna see if I can catch a quick coffee with Darren who I used to, I used to work with as the other ranger. Well, good afternoon to you. I've had a day. I've had a right old day at work. You it's been. So, you were so excited. To go I, I was morning. actually so excited this morning, wasn't I, to go to work? That'll teach me. That'll teach me. I've had a day. It's fine. Everything is fine, but I've given myself a headache. It's been that sort of day. So I'm feeling a bit like. Oh. I still love my job. I just didn't love today. I'm so excited. This was a lovely surprise, so I am very, very, very happy at this. Well, you know I love a notebook, but a be kind notebook, oh man, what's not to love? We've got a really boring dinner tonight. We've got a pizza and some garlic bread. The dullest meal ever, but it needs using, so we're going to eat it, obviously. So I might sprinkle a bit of extra cheese just to try and jazz it up a little bit. After dinner, I'm going to go for a little stroll. I am. I've been sitting at my desk all day and then I'm eating just pizza and garlic bread for dinner. So a little stroll, nothing too strenuous, just to get me out walking is just what I need. Oh, I'm back in from my walk. It just started raining as I was coming back. It wasn't meant to rain. No. Bugbrook Village is 
gorgeous the properties when you just are walking past and you look at them they are just magnificent they really are i love this village it's beautiful anyway I stopped at the shop, got Mr Warner a drink. The main reason though for walking was this. I wanted to start Parcel. Now I told myself that I wasn't going to start a new book until I'd finished my other book. And we're also listening to a Jack Reach book. I was like, no Lisa, don't have three books on the go at the same time. Couldn't resist. I could not resist. But the great thing is, now I'm into this one, I can sit down, listen and crochet. Good morning to you and welcome to Tuesday. I'm working from the boat this morning. I'm just getting all set up, ready for a morning stint at the boat. Glenn has got to go to the office today. So he's just setting all the solar options for my multiple charging needs. That's what I've got. I'm power hungry. We're just going to have coffee before I start. It's going to be a good day. It's lovely and busy this morning. Lots of traffic going backwards and forwards. The sun is out, but it's a little chilly. I've had to put my cardi on just to keep warm. I have all the tech set up today. It's a quality working situation. It's working really well. Oh, how perfect timing is that? I've just finished work. Mr Warner has just wandered back with a bag and a box. Mr Warner, what deliciousness have you purchased? Meal bill for lunch, just bought the one. Oh, sherry, sherry. Yeah. So I've got some eggs, bought some more milk. Milk, it's good, good, good. Um, sourdough bread. Excellent. Uh, some bacon. I can't believe how much chicken is. Chicken is horrifically expensive. Should we have a look in the yeah, box? Yeah, have a look in the box. So these are like <laughs> tag stroke business cards <laughs> to put on our goods. Right, let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. This is looking good. Oh, Glenn, they look fab. So basically we're going to punch a hole in the corner. Yeah. And these are going to be attached to everything we, yeah. uh, we sell. Yeah, do you always worry about yeah. spelling mistakes? Do you know, I've done not a lot of filming this afternoon. I haven't. It's because I've been chatting to friends on the phone, yeah. Friends and family catching up with some of the kids. It's all been good. I've listed the new notebooks on our web shop. So they are there, ready to go. I'm about to make dinner. Glenn brought home some salad. He brought home some chicken. So I'm going to try and turn those two ingredients into something amazing. Let's have a look in the cupboard, see what we can find. Some raisins, no. Let's have a look in here. Hey, this is what we're looking for. A little bit of pasta that'll do nicely right what we got in here that'll do i'm gonna make a little pesto dressing with some lemon juice and some olive oil and some pesto good morning and welcome to wednesday this is a wednesday that feels like a saturday there is no work today and it's jam-packed full of good stuff first stop today off to see Harry and Hayley. Come on, let's go. Glenn's just said to me, you're way too cheery. I was like, I can't help it. It's a short walk to where the car is. You may be thinking, Lisa, where's your lettuces? <laughs> you may not have been thinking, Lisa, where's your lettuces? But anyway, I had to leave my lettuces down at the caravan because Mr Warner refused to let them in the car because they were soaking wet after all that rain. So anyway, Harry has brought my lettuces back. So we're gonna go collect our lettuces. Yeah, yeah. Harry keeps calling them cabbages. I'm like, Harry, they're not cabbages, they're lettuces. But it doesn't matter, we're gonna go and get them. Oh, well, also see Harry and Hayley too. Uh, uh, we're not solely going over there just to get the lettuces. Road ahead closed. Well, this is the second road closure of the day. So there's a diversion this way. Well, our road just got a lot smaller. We've taken a turn. I think we've come off the official diversion. Well, we're coming through this place. I don't even know what it's called, but there's some beautiful properties. And look at this church. It's so picturesque. It looks beautiful in the sunshine but just have a look at this look, oh i know where we are oh the road ahead's closed this is a nightmare the van in front of us doesn't know where he's going either so we took that shortcut 
and and Glenn's come back on the road that's closed so we've had to take another shortcut anyway we got to see some lovely sights so we continue down smaller roads there's been lefts there's been rights and I'm not sure we're getting any closer to Harry's okay we've come into another village Hyden 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 spelt with an E we have made it to Middleton Cheney it was an epic journey we are here morning, morning. you all right have yeah, you not done your hair this morning, well, Nate? No, I'm <laughs> living a holiday life. <laughs> uh, this one's Dartmouth, darling. I like mm. it. I like I've, it. I've got, I've got some new t-shirts from Salt Rock in Devon. I've got Brixham, Dartmouth, and I think there's another one, but yeah. Salcombe? Um, maybe. I'm gonna, my plan is to go to all of them <laughs> and, and, and get a t-shirt <laughs> with the name on the back. Well, I like them. <laughs> Hayley's working from home today and she's got a meeting. So we are strolling down to a local cafe. Hayley's going to join us in a bit. Well, that was very delicious. Henry's calf. Look at this wisteria here. How beautiful is that? That is just stunning. What are you doing under there? I was showing you that the electric motor looks just like an engine. Oh yeah. We still have a bottle, we still have a starter battery. Well, Harry has done an amazing job of looking after my lettuces. Look at that! Thanks Harry for your green <laughs> fingers there. That's right, I literally picked them up and brought them back. So, <laughs> <laughs> right, we're heading back now. We are not going back the way we came. We're taking a more direct route. Be careful with those, Mr. Warner. We are out this evening, so I am just writing the newsletter. Mr. Warner! It's going into the cupboard again. Mr. Warner's going into the cupboard of doom. I'll tell you why. This morning, I spotted an ant. There could be a whole colony of ants under that cupboard. Ants don't bother me, by the way. It's just the thought that they could be just making a nice little home under this cupboard. We've got a lot of ingredients in unopened packets under there. So while I'm doing the newsletter, Mr. Warner is going to have a sort out and check for ants. There's a lot of stuff in there, Mr. Warner. We are off to bingo for Zara's birthday. Come on, let's go. We're going to be lucky. Someone on our table is going to be lucky. I just feel it. And last time I said it, we were lucky. So come on, let's go. We're here at bingo. I only went and left my camera in the car, so I had to run back for it. 161. We're all feeling very hopeful. Deb's just won. Deb's just won. Glenn's just won 50 pounds. Glenn had to share his 50 pounds with someone else. <laughs> so Chloe's only two away. Glenn, how many you got? Two. Oh. <laughs> Glenn's two away. I'm seven away. I only needed 82. Chloe needs one number to win £250. What do you need, Chloe? 52. Oh. <laughs> oh, we've got an eight. We've got an eight. I need an eight. Four, oh, four. The pressure is just huge. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Two, four, two, three. Three of days. Oh, Neil. Five of days. Seven and nine. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Thursday. I am off to the office for a couple of hours. While I'm at work, Mr. Warner's going to move the boat. I'm going to leave you with Mr. Warner. And I will speak to you later. Morning. So I just did my turn around just behind me. No problem at all. Engine's smoking a little bit, but you know, hey -o. It is cold, so we'll crack on. Let's get through to Stoke Bruin. Sod's Law, corner, bridge, boat coming the other way. Never mind. Anyway, we squeezed through. So uh, yeah, I'm doing all right. I've been on the move for about 40 minutes and I don't think I'm a million miles away from Gaten. The sun's come out, I've left me out inside, 
so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop at the services at Gaten. Anyway, I'll catch you in a bit. Terrapin just over there. I just sort of missed it. It's Terrapin just sitting on the side there with its head in the air. Um, they're quite lethal actually. They bite um, and hang on. So uh, yeah, you sort of saw him sitting on the edge there. I don't know if, you, if I caught him. I tried to zoom in but I'm steering the boat as well and there was a boat coming the other way so it was all a bit frantic. These moorings we're going past now are uh, completely remote. You can't get access them by road at all. All the people that have boats here have little boats and they have to go across to the other side from the tow pass. So everything they have to do, they'll just bring the boat over or they've got a little uh, rowing boat, but they are very beautiful. There's a lot of buildings on here and, and yurts and all sorts. They've got nice little gardens. Yeah, it's, um, it's a lovely spot in the middle of nowhere. I haven't used the facilities at Gaten for a long time. A few times we've used them before, they've always been broken, there's always been issues there. Anyway, we'll have a, we'll go and have a look. So just there is the uh, it's the Mountbatten cruiser. It's, it used to be moored in Northampton Marina. We were actually moored in the spot that was built for that boat. So they tend to go up to where we just come from. So they go up, up the canal to the wharf inn and stop, they usually stop there for a bit of lunch and then come back again. So it's a nice little trip out. Uh, and I, it's, it's, I think it's, it's some sort of charity boat. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's Red Cross. We, uh, I've just pulled over to them past because they're a little bit wider. There's a wide beam just here and it just wasn't worth trying to squeeze past. And plus I didn't want to lose my top hat in the bushes. When I say the top hat, I mean the top hat of the chimney, not the top hat, the top hat that goes on my head. Just around this corner, the bridge just before Gate and Moorings, it's near the car park. So yeah, there's the bridge and then it's a straight run down to gate and more in both sides and there's a car park just up on the right hand side so you can moor on the right hand side for 14 i think it's 14 days the left hand side's private mooring and the service is just on the left on the top of the northampton arm which obviously we used to go down all the time in nutshell because that's where we were moored but thankfully we're not going to go down there because 17 locks no thank you it's on the sign there 14 days both ways so these these are two week moorings uh, just on the Blissworth farm which is useful as, as I said the moorings on the other side these are all private but yeah three moorings 14 days in so where we want to go is just around this corner here just see the building just here now it's got toilets and, and stuff so let's uh, let's get over there I'm gonna put the camera somewhere safe so I don't knock it over just done all the bits we've moved on i was chatting to a really really nice chap there uh alan i believe his name was and he actually owns the middle where we just saw the mooring he actually owns one of those and he bought it uh, 10 20 years ago 20 years ago i think 25 years ago so uh, he used to have his boat there he's sadly no longer got a boat there anymore but he's, he, he loves the land so he's kept the land he's had a long chat with him so uh, um, and I always wondered whether they were rented or owned or but they're, they're all owned all those moorings that I was telling you about earlier are all owned I love this boat we're just about to go past it looks like it's not been touched for a long while so if anyone knows any information on this boat it sits just around the corner from Blissworth Farm um, the covers need resetting and it needs recovering I'm just going to fill up with water and it's, and it's called Grenock Grenock it's been here for ever since we've been boating but the cut you see the covers are coming off there and just like to uh, find out a little bit more about that boat so we're just going into the bridge under the bridge into Blissworth um, this is just into the village before we get to the tunnel uh, probably about 15 minutes away from the tunnel it's just a run up to the um, tunnel now and it is very warm I really want to take this hoodie off but I know that in the tunnel it's going to be freezing so well, a lot colder so I'm going to keep it on until we get out the other side. I am pretty sure I've done this tunnel before on my own. I just can't remember when I did it. I can't remember if it was in this boat or nutshell. So I'm going to try and take as much footage as I can. Here we go. I haven't checked the light so fingers crossed we're all good. We'll know in about 
30 seconds. I've got my torch. Let's go in. It's always a nightmare when you first go in because your eyes take a little while to. Oh, my light's working. I'm good to go. Another boat just come in. You can just see the light right down the end. solo cruiser for going through the lock so I'm not going to be able to film much. Look who's turned up, this is Warner, just there, opened the lock for us. I was hoping you'd get here for at least one of them. That was just the perfect timing. I managed to help with two locks, I literally pulled the car up and then Glenn came along. I mean we couldn't have timed it that well even if i knew what time he'd be passing so that was perfect i'm just going to unpack the shopping and then i'm going to see what the score is are we stopping here tonight and moving tomorrow or are we going to move later who knows i don't we've had a cup of tea and a rest and put our feet up for about an hour we've decided glenn is going to continue towards cosgrove i'm going to take the car to cosgrove and then walk back the reason i volunteered for this job i want to listen to my audio book that is the only reason so while i walk back i will get to have a listen i'm going to leave the camera with mr warner only because i'm not taking a bag so i'm not going to have enough hands for for phone key camera so i'll leave you in mr warner's capable hands and i'll see you i'll see you in a bit pushing it a little bit down there and uh, didn't sound very good so i've slowed down again i was hoping to make a bit of headway so mrs warner didn't have to walk so far but yeah it didn't sound like a good noise so we'll we'll back off and i don't drive it fast normally so and it sounds absolutely fine now so we'll, we won't we won't go so fast very lush and green on this stretch so the road that mrs warner on runs parallel with the canal up there she's on foot now i think we're probably about a mile away from each other so i should catch her up i would think around baxter's somewhere i reckon she was at Throp Marina a little while ago, which is by the navigation pub. So I would think somewhere around, somewhere around Baxter's boats, we should we should hook up. You can just see Baxter's boat in the uh, distance there. Too late for diesel today, so I'll have to get Jules Fuels to fill her up next time they come past. This is Kingfisher Marina on the right hand side. Then Baxter's boats, who I recommend a lot. I like them. For blacking and painting and bits and pieces and diesel and i reckon mrs warner will be between there and the next next bridge so this field here this was for sale or oh, many years ago and me and mrs warner looked at buying this it was uh, it's a big old field it goes all the way down there we got the details we came down had a walk round. i bottled it I, in hindsight being a narrowboat i shouldn't have bottled it because it uh, would have made a fantastic mooring, I believe this, flipping raining. No rain forecast at all. It must be just a little tiny bit, hopefully it'll uh, not come to anything. A man just stopped me on his bike and said, your wife's just round the corner. I, I haven't seen her yet, but she can't be far. Mrs Warner's just there, We're just catching up with her. Oh, Mr Warner's just picked me up. That didn't take very long. I just want to say a massive hello to Alan and his wife Dottie. I spoke to Alan on the towpath and he said he watches our videos. So they're going to quick. So hopefully Alan and Dottie will be able to have a proper chat then. Put the kettle on, gonna make Mr. Warner a cup of tea. He hasn't had a hot drink all day long. Cups of tea ready. So we've just moored up at Cosgrove, right near the car. The rain stopped, all is well. Just gonna make dinner. Oh, this chicken's looking delish. Oh man, this is looking so good. In there, the chicken and hummus. We've got the rice. We've got some cucumber and mint mayo and a bit of salad. Oh, 
Oh, I think it's going to be tasty. Oh, look at those cuties. Look at them. Good morning and welcome to Friday. I've been up for hours, hours. I've done loads of video editing. I am up to date, yeah? Makes me very happy, that does. Mr. One has just got up and he's jumped out of bed when he's realised there's tree sap on the windows. He don't want tree sap on the boat. He's cleaning it off and he just wants to move a bit further around the corner. There's a marquee going up just opposite us. Looks like there's going to be a party. Look how lovely this looks. We are off to Northampton. We're going to Debbie's to use her facilities. Oh yes, we got a whole lot of washing. So Mr. Warner isn't feeling great this morning, therefore he's a little bit negative. He's grumpy. Unfortunately, that means his grumpiness and my positivity, oh, it's, it's not a mix. It's not a mix. This is when I'm annoyingly positive. I'm desperately trying to tone it down. But everything Mr. Warner sees, talks about, whatever, is negative. And I, I just, I can't do it. It's like a default reaction. We're at Deb's. Washing's in. We're going to jump in the shower. I've got a little bit of work to do. I'm going to use Deb's internet while we're here. Because it's shocking where we're moored. So while I'm here, washing's on, Glenn's in the shower. I am doing the quarterly newsletter for Electra, the community electric boat that is moored in Milton Keynes. I'm going to crack on. I'll catch you in a bit. So we're just leaving Deb's. We're nipping to McDonald's to meet up with Mia. It's her seventh birthday today. Come on, let's go. I've managed to uh, do all the washing. It then rained, so I couldn't put it out. Now the sun's out. So we've just put the washing out at Deb's. How old are you today, my darling? Seven. I don't know, darling. Love from Nanny Pauline. I got oh. some money. I'm sorry. It's a McDonald's feast going on. Deb's cleaned her car. Looking very sparkly. Right, so that's birthday celebrated. McDonald's eaten. Washing sorted and picked up. So that is about it. We're heading back to the boat now. And, and I think that's it for the week. Well, there we have it, Mr. Warner. Not a bad week at all. We've got a very exciting week to come, haven't we? Oh, yes. Crick. Crick. A couple of things to say about Crick. We've got a stand where I'll be selling all gorgeous plants and beautiful things. If you're coming to Crick, come find us and say hello. If we've spoken before, you just need to bear in mind that I've got a terrible memory for faces yeah, shocking. Uh, yeah it is shocking but i don't usually forget a conversation mr warner has got a much better memory for faces mm. so uh, uh, we're in the craft tent as well so we, just we are that. very excited i am super excited actually mm. really really excited to see some of you next week i just love that come and see us that would be fabulous we've got some thank yous to do and boy is it a long list thanks to mr warner doing some fabulous notebooks oh yes we've got a lot of thank yous to do so i'd like to say a massive thank you to alice emma judy r marion Teresa, and linda uh, ruth and alan kath helen and linda Oh, there's another Helen there. Two Helens. Two Helens, Charles and Judy. Oh, thank you, guys. So, thank you, uh, you thank are, you. You either bought on our shop or you bought us a coffee. Yeah, so. thank you. It means a lot. So, and we it does really help us out for later. Yeah, it does. It, really does. it does. So. We'll see you next week. Next if week. If not on the video, for real. For real, in person, hopefully. Can't wait to see you next week. Take care. Have a great week. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.